Let's look at a second example. In this example, the company buys $100 worth of inventory, but instead of paying with cash, it purchases the inventory on account. And otherwise, in other words, it will pay its supplier at a later date. Remember the four things that we need to know to record the journal entry. You need to know the accounts affected, what type of accounts they are, whether they go up or down, and the dollar amount. Let's use the balance sheet equation as a tool again to help us think about what accounts are affected. Well, the company gets inventory through this transaction. And the inventory account increases by $100. But instead of paying cash, the company incurs an obligation to pay its supplier at a later date. So it now has a liability that it must record on its books. Let's call that liability accounts payable. That's what we would typically call the liability when we purchase something from a supplier and decide we'll pay the supplier later. So an accounts payable account is affected and it increases by $100. So now we know the accounts affected, what type they are, whether they go up or down, and the dollar amount by which they're affected. So we know everything we need to know to record the journal entry. Let's start with inventory. Inventory is an asset and it increases. Well, we know an increase in an asset account is a left-hand side entry or a debit. So let's write the left side entry, inventory, the account name, the account type, increases by $100. Accounts payable is a liability and it increases by $100. Increases in liabilities are right-side entries. Remember, they're on the right side of the equation, so they're right-side entries. Let's write the account name indented to the right underneath the left side, left portion of the entry. Accounts payable. The account type is a liability. It increases by $100. Now if we compare this to the transaction that we just recorded in the prior example, in both situations we record a left side to inventory because inventory increased by $100 in both examples. But in the first example the company paid cash, so assets went down and that was our right side entry. But in this example the company buys on account, so liabilities go up, so that's our right side entry. So these two entries differ only by the right side of the entry. Let's post these to the individual T accounts. The inventory account is affected, and the accounts payable account is affected. Let's take the left side of the journal entry, the debit, to the inventory account, and let's put it on the left side of the inventory T account. And the right side of the entry, the accounts payable increase, goes on the right side of the accounts payable T account. Our left side total and our right side total are equal. We're happy about that. Let's go back to the um, balance sheet equation and make sure that our equation stays in balance after we've completed our journalizing and posting. Inventory, which is an asset, goes up by 100, so assets are up by 100. Accounts payable, which is a liability increase, increased by 100. So liabilities in total are up by 100. The left side of the equation is increased by 100. The right side of the equation is increased by 100. So the equation stays in balance. 